In this video, I will share the external anatomy of the specimen. In this uh, particular case, we have the frog. And later, after the external anatomy, I'll show you how to skin the frog in preparation for the study of the muscles. Okay? Now, in terms of um, external anatomy, the body is divided into three parts or three regions. So, from this part, from the snout up to this part, Okay, where you can see the ear or the tympanum, so you have here the head part. And then from this part, okay, up to this part before the thigh, you have the trunk. And here, you know, from the start of the thigh until the end, so you have here the hind limb. Now, what are the structures that can be uh, found on the head part? So we have here the tip. Okay, the tip of the head is called the snout. And then you're able to see the external nares or the nostrils. Then of course you have here the eye. Okay, so the eye has, you have here the upper eyelid. Then you have the lower eyelid. And then you have a third eyelid. So this one. So that is the nictitating membrane. Okay, so that's the nictitating membrane. It allows the frog to open its eyes and see underwater. Uh, it's like it has uh, built-in goggles. Okay, and then here, okay, you can see here the tympanum. So that's the ear of the frog. So yes, the frog can hear. Okay, and then... If you're going to examine the forelimb, okay, it is divided into three regions. Okay, so from this part to this part. So this is the arm or the brachium. And then from this part to this part, okay, you have here the forearm or the antibrachium. And then the rest, okay, you have here the manus. Okay, so this is the manus. So the manus is made up of the this part, the wrist part or the carpus. And then the palm part is the metacarpus. And then there are five fingers. Okay, or five digits. And then, again from this part to this part, you have the entire hind limb. So the hind limb is again divided into three parts. So the first part is the thigh. Then the second part, that's the shank or the cruz. And then the third part is the pes. So like the manus, the pes is also divided into three regions. So from this part to this part, okay, you have here the ankle or the tarsus. And then from this part, okay, this part to this part before the toes. Okay, so you have here the instep or the metatarsus. And then again, you have here the Okay, the digits, no or the toes. So there are five digits. So you have one, you have two, three, and then four, and then five there. And then you have an extra digit. So this is the uh, prehalux. Okay, and the toes are also provided with webs. So we can see that uh, this is uh, particularly an aquatic species because the web is very important for swimming okay so that would be for the um, external feature of the frog now in preparation for uh, the study of muscles you have to skin your frog you have to entirely remove the skin so what you do is you place uh, your specimen okay ventral side up and then okay you can pin the Okay, you can pin your specimen so that it would not move when you dissect or when you skin. Okay. Okay. So when skinning, okay, so you have to make an incision. Okay, on the um, ab 
abdomen of your frog. Okay, just make a small cut. And then, you insert, of course, your scissors. Okay, the tip should be pointing upwards so as not to just destroy or damage any muscle. And then, you cut. Okay, cut until the lower jaw. Okay, and then you make a perpendicular cut going to the arms. So you can actually see the muscle underneath the skin. Okay, and then you do the same. Okay, going to the other arm. So, cut the skin and make sure not to damage any muscle. Okay, going to the manus or the hand. Okay, you can make a circular cut or incision. Okay, so that later... Okay, you can just pull the skin like taking gloves no, from the hands. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing with the other hand. Okay, so you can pull this later. No? Again, just like uh, taking gloves off the hand. And then... Okay, you make an incision, or you cut the skin again, okay, going to the S. So again, be careful not to damage any muscle. Okay, so uh, at the area of the ankle or the tarsus, again, you can make a circular cut. You can see there the muscles and then again you, you can just remove the skin okay just like removing a sock no from the foot okay and then you do the same okay for the other leg Okay, so again, make a circular cut.
Okay, and then again, or you can just remove the the skin. So again, you can take the you can take uh, off the rest of the skin just like removing uh, a sock no, from the foot. Okay, so never mind what happens to the skin anyway, you're not going to study it. Okay? And then you're going to, okay, you're going to proceed to skinning. Okay, until you finish Okay, skinning the entire frog. Don't be afraid to use your hands. Okay, just uh, remember not to damage any muscle. So in cutting, always cut near the skin, not near the muscle. You can just pull up the skin. So it's a combination of cutting and pulling. Okay, you can see here nerves and blood vessels. Okay, supplying the skin area. It's not really that hard to skin. Be careful with this muscle. So that's the gracilis minor. So usually, yeah. this one, usually this, uh, this can be cut off or pulled during skinning. Okay, so see how easy it is to skin the frog. Actually, you can just pull. Again, just uh, like pulling off a sack of the foot. There. Okay. And then you do the same thing with the, with the hands and the rest. Okay. Okay, so you are now uh, ready, okay, to study the different muscles. Okay, so again, just remove the entire skin. Also, uh, remove the skin from the, from the head part. Okay, so thank you very much. So the next video would be the study of the dorsal and the ventral muscles. Thank you very much.